How is it going everyone? Welcome back or welcome to my channel. So I'm Michelle and I'm a first year student studying science at UPC and I do videos like food, lifestyle and college content. So I'm currently studying first year so I still have a lot to learn like a lot of upper year students will have more experience than me of course but I will just use based on what I've learned in my first year experience. There are a lot of ups and downs but We'll get into that. If you find it helpful, that would be great. Comment down if you find it helpful. And also, if you guys did like to stick around, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell. And also follow my Instagram. I post a lot of life updates there often and also my food blog as well because that's actually how everything started for me. <laughs> Number one tip is definitely write down everything. So I mean everything is everything. So the obvious thing will be definitely dates and important deadlines like assignments, quizzes, and exams. But honestly, I mean everything you have to write down also like your hangout schedule, maybe workout schedule, volunteer schedule, meeting schedule because if you have so many stuff in your mind, you actually forget things. You lose your mind if you're so busy. There are a few things you can write down. So physical notebook, this is something I got last year. I didn't regret getting it. It's pretty, very pretty and aesthetic. But I have a whole video of my unboxing, I'll attach it here. But I find I don't use it that often, so it's kind of a little bit of a waste of money. It's like 50 bucks, like 55 bucks, so it's really pretty, but I just don't use it. Because now currently I use a lot for Google Calendar. I'm starting to adjust to use Notion. A lot of people suggest me using it, and I'm gonna like go through what it looks like on my computer. Okay, so here's my Notion. So... Oops, I actually finished that already. So this is a template I actually downloaded from somewhere else. I'm gonna attach it. It's from my friend called Sachi. And there are a lot of... Um, she has... She, she made a few templates as well. So I actually used this student dashboard. So I put all my classes here. So for example, this is my math class. And here's the Zoom link. And then here's what the course syllabus is. Marking skin. Okay, the GIF I put is for Harry Potter because I'm such a Potter head. So that's why I put Harry Potter as a GIF because I love it. Syllabus here, you can actually click onto the file here. Marking scheme, important dates as well. This is just directly copy and paste from the syllabus. So this is the calendar and I just put some important dates and deadlines in here. For example, um, today I actually have to hand in assignment one chemistry, which I already done it. Words 150, I just finished it this morning. And then Words in class quiz, we finished that already. So this is like the default field. So this is where I will add my stuff. But actually you can change it into a calendar, which is actually very, it's actually awesome like that. And you can just switch the dates here. And you can click on it. You can add stuff if you need to. So it's very really useful. I like doing that. And I also add some like extracurriculars here. I don't know, academic goals, I don't know. So just now I just showed everything in Notion. I didn't really use Notion in the first term. So this is something I'm just still navigating, but I mainly use Google Calendar and physical notebook in the first semester. So I use, I'll talk more about this in the second point because I do use a lot last term, but I'm trying to incorporate into Notion. So here's my Google Calendar. I literally put everything in my Google Calendar. So this is my week schedule. Um, for example, I have class in the morning, chem class, office hour, words, and then chem quiz that lab I've already finished, so it's good. And then office hour again, math office hour, and this is like extracurricular. Um, although it's not actually happening right now, so I actually get to delete it. And you can see I put everything on it. Like I have my work shift and here register gym section. If you know, we have the register gym section right now, so I just put an alarm there. For example, on Saturday, I'm going out to eat. And then you will see like, um, if you see like the empty session, that means I don't really have anything to do. That's where I can actually plan out my study schedule, homework schedule. And I also remind myself to do temp quiz and stuff. I also put sometimes like assignment here as well. So I'll usually put alert as well. One week before, 30 minutes before, two days before. I really like Google Calendar because it's color coded. So I just, based on my courses, I just color code my courses. Extracurricular, sometimes I put in black. And then specific extracurricular, I might put in another color if I'm 
in very involved in that. Google Calendar is your best friend. You need Google Calendar everywhere. Uh, you can have it on your phone, your laptop, it's really convenient and put on alert and it's really helpful so as you can see um after i see google calendar with like the white stuff that means i don't really have any commitments that's helped me what to expect during the week or during the day or how busy i am so that it helps me to plan out my schedule so this gets to the second point which is make daily or weekly plans so this, I didn't really do that before, but I really find it helpful because it makes me become more organized. I actually find it out during like, I went to go to like the ASPAC, it's called Science Peer Academic Coach. So it's something, a service that's offered by the science department. And basically we meet some coaches, there, which are their only upper year students that they will give them advice on you how to study, how to plan your schedule, maybe how to balance your work life. So one uses time blocking. So it's basically making a study timetable. So I personally don't prefer that I try it but I find it really hard to commit to that because all the time something came up the second thing they use is doing to-do list so this is what I find it useful so here's my notion so this is the weekly agenda this is how I plan on my schedule so I personally only do it maybe a few days before so for example if it's today today's wednesday or probably today i might plan out my weekend schedule as well so on monday tuesday i plan it out maybe last weekend this really helped me to finish my tasks and help me plan it out my study schedule especially my midterm week is actually coming in two weeks so this is a good time to plan it out and some tasks like um my words assignment actually takes a longer time to do this file assignment usually is shorter math assignment usually takes a few days to do and yeah i sometimes put my gym as well um this is not really planned out yet so friday is an exception but it's really easy so for example tomorrow i have art shift i have a work shift i have class and i probably will do um maybe running and then grocery shopping and then maybe math 103 assignment as well and then maybe words 150 topic research since i know i need to take more time to do and this is like it's a study section today so i'm doing a study session with some friends today so this is how my um kind of my schedule and i find it really helpful to kind of foresee what is going on throughout the week i did some of the things in first term but i didn't use notion so i'm gonna let you see my notebook for example, this is during October, so I don't know whether you can see it. So this is like, I will write down everything here, like my classes and stuff and what I would do between classes. And I would cross it out if I do it, if I did it, I would just write it down the next day, like I know I didn't do it. So it's just similar things, but it's not currently online on my laptop before it's only in my notebook. So this really find it helpful. I was pretty lazy to do that, honestly. I always do that when I was having a busy week because I do really need to be more organized. But when I'm not too busy, I was just lazy. I'm not gonna plan my schedule ahead. Some people like doing to-do lists in the morning, like daily to-do lists. I usually do like a few days, so not entirely the whole week since usually some things came up. I usually do like maybe like three or four days, three or three days before usually to plan out my schedule. This kind of like strategy is something I learned when I was in Hong Kong, when I was in secondary school in Hong Kong, because I was very busy. I had like swimming training like eight times a week, usually I go seven times, and also have a busy like test quiz schedule all the time. I used to only just kind of visualize like I know there's like a test coming up, so I'm gonna study today, so something like that. Now it's just the same strategy, but now I write everything down because I have more commitments to do back in, than back in Hong Kong. This is something that you can start incorporating maybe in your study schedule, in your life. You can honestly plan out anything, like even if you're not in school, if you just maybe work right now. And I really like this habit and I highly recommend it. The third tip is stay organized so i learned the hard way in the first term my math notes are everywhere where i did my math assignments physics textbook assignments are everywhere so i literally 
couldn't find where I put my things or I write it down it's in my notes but it's just so messy that I don't want to read it so I learned the hard way as time passed like around in November I started to realize that I do actually have to start to be more organized that's when I actually use more of my iPad using more of my Google Drive Canva and also now I'm using Notability as well I don't have an Apple Pen if you see me writing it's not an Apple Pen my iPad is not the newest one it's quite old it's like four or five years ago already it's not a, as old as you think but it's not the recent one and it doesn't work with apple pen but honestly if you have an apple pen write everything down on your notability or good notes and stuff it's really helpful it helps you stay organized and i highly recommend you to put everything in the same place or maybe just two places like google drive is your best friend as well i learned from my art resident advisor when you have everything in one place it's gonna save you so much time when you actually are very busy when you're in a, in a hurry to study you don't need to find everything and then study because everything is just there and i hope i can get into the habit this term as well i started to do that in mid-november i learned the hard way so i hope you don't have to go through that i'm not a very super organized person i'm not super messy but still i need to get better of that the fourth tip is that stay focused when you're doing tasks so currently i'm still first year so i usually have more quizzes like and tests a little bit of assignments I guess maybe art students will have more reading and maybe more research have to do and for science students maybe it's more like assignment little assignment quizzes and midterm exam based kind of thing honestly study habit is different for everyone i personally don't use like Pomodoro method i don't like using it i don't like there's like a timer like constraining me or something i also don't like listen to music when i was studying because i can't focus sometimes if i really need to listen to music if i just can't focus for some reason i would just listen to like some music that i don't understand the language like some foreign language and stuff that really helps me because i won't sing along but i usually don't listen to music i usually go to the library and just focus on my task without any music because that's how i work honestly i think really find a comfortable place to study I like I don't really like studying in my room but sometimes you just have to do it I like studying in the IKB like Harry Potter room I sometimes like going to like the common area in the IKB as well I also like going to water cooler library the basement there's a pretty good studying spot as well so as long as you can stay focused it will help you stay productive fifth number tip take some time to hang out with your friends in university or in anyone's life you we're gonna be very stressful in sometimes and sometimes you, the last thing you want to do is to plan out and hang out with friends I understand that but sometimes having a friend to talk to or just having something to distract you for a while is really helpful even like a short meal um, you notice that I usually hang out with friends at lunch or dinner one of my friends Adeline you've seen her in the vlogs I usually hang out with her during lunch and dinner and honestly like having a short meal together as well it helps you de-stress de and just get away from your school for a little while like even like 15 minutes it's gonna be so much better because otherwise you're gonna be feel all very overwhelmed with everything and having someone to talk to especially having after a class oh my god it's very stressful oh my god but still have tons of assignment to do oh my god there's something like a written assignment to do calm down relax have a short walk with your friends have a little chat maybe have a little movie night maybe watch a short youtube video it's gonna help you a lot i like having friends so i understand some people doesn't like it having friends is gonna be very helpful in university and it really helps you get through a lot of things like through the midterms through the exams through the quizzes you need their friends and you need someone to talk to and be a little bit more open and your mind will feel so much better after that i actually realized i lost my last tip in the sd card so here i am editing michelle here it's gonna be quick so the last tip is actually just take the time to do some self-care so i understand like self-care is honestly very overrated it's all around the social media people just kind of telling you to, to do self-care take the time to take care of yourself i know it's very important it's slightly overrated slightly only slightly in youtube like online and stuff it's just so overwhelming to see how people are taking care of themselves because it's such a long list in the morning it's too much it's too much so 
you can see it online like i don't know when they wake up they do yoga meditation journaling matcha um a sai or smoothie bowl go out for a walk Honestly, this is not realistic. What I do, like this is my example. If you watch my vlogs, you know I wake up, I sometimes go exercise, workout, gym, maybe running, maybe yoga, or I'm just taking out for a walk. And the second thing I would do is um, make breakfast. I love making breakfast. I'm a huge breakfast lover. I like making oatmeal yogurt. I like making a toast. Sometimes just go downstairs to enjoy a lovely breakfast. These are really my self care routine, and I really enjoy. I really like taking the time to make breakfast, and sometimes maybe make coffee and i really like it so it really sets my mood for the day even though i know i have a busy schedule i still do take the time to do it even exam if you watch my exam vlog i actually do yoga in the morning because i just like moving my body sometimes people like doing night routine so i understand maybe sometimes people like doing skincare routine maybe they like reading a book before they sleep do what works for you you don't have to copy anyone else in online and maybe if you like watching anime go watch an anime if you like watching comic go watch go read some comics and when i say watch comics if you like baking go bake so honestly if only just a tiny tiny bit of a time of a day you're taking care of yourself your life will be so much more awesome your, your body will thank for you your mind will thank for you because our life is already so busy and if you don't even have a little bit of time that is not part of the school part of the work extracurricular you'll be very busy and overwhelmed and this part of day is gonna help you a lot so yeah so that's all i have to say i hope you find it helpful i'm still in the learning journey so these are not maybe not the best tip you may find this is my first time i actually have to balance a full course load and plus a part-time job plus some extracurricular hopefully i don't have to sacrifice as much sleep as possible if you find it helpful comment down in the comments and if you have any other tips you want to share share it in the comments as well so that other people can see it and they might find it helpful as well this is the end of my video and i'm gonna see you next time love ya